hello guys, welcome back to our half term October break. Um, so we drove down yesterday from Ben Nevis, um, quite a long drive down sitting there, we're, we're top part of the Yorkshire Dales, and we're at a pub that's quite famous, the um, Tan Hill Inn, which is famous on Park for Night and a lot of other sites out there probably know about it. It's the highest um, pub in the Britain, and it sits on top of the Yorkshire Moors, overlooking the valleys and as you'll see in a minute we get extreme weather up here um, had a good night last night they get showers they've got a shower and toilet that you can use overnight it's just only one cubicle um, but it's still quite a powerful hot shower it's really nice um, and you get used to the toilet um, inside they're very friendly food is excellent good pint of beer we had last night so we're gonna have a little walk around outside and show you what it looks like around here So bad, it's banging the <laughs> camera. As you can see behind us the views. And the Tanya pub is just down there. See the rain? <laughs> that is Right, so a little bit more information about the pub. We've just done that little walk. Um, so how high is this? This is um, it's one thousand seven hundred thirty-two feet above sea level. So it's quite high. <laughs> um, the highest. Just across the road is where you can get onto the Pennine Way. Um, so you can walk about three miles down that way to the village lower down, which is the village of Mucker. Mucker down there, isn't it? So which is quite a famous, good pub and everything else down there. Little shop as well. In the Swaledale Valley. So that's about six, mar six miles there and back, um, pretty much downhill there and uphill coming mm -hmm. back. Um, we're not going to do it today because the weather's so bad out there. The wind is got Shocking. to be hitting 30, 40 miles an hour more. Easily. Um, and the rain cutting through that uh, skin. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's about. Perfect for walkers, you know. There's so many tracks you can do from here, and so many different directions, and that you know. And then to come back to, it's nice they do breakfast here at the pub as well, lunch and dinner. Perfect for bikers. Um, it's just a really great place actually. It's just at the moment the weather is just quite ferocious, and we'd like to see a little bit more of the area. Well, there's a guy just gone past on his push bike. God knows how he's going to get up the hills in that wind. But yeah, in, in, um, another thing the pub does, um, they do a little leaflet here. I'll try and do some of this, if I can scan it into my website. Um, gives you free walks on here with a map as well. Um, so you can look that up if you want. Like I say, I'll try and get this onto my website as a PDF. Um, I'm sure they won't mind if you're coming this way. Um, I'll also do the view range of walks that we was going to do, but we didn't do because of the weather. But we'll definitely come back again. Um, this would be a good one to come up during the bad weather. I expect that when it's snowing, you, you probably wouldn't want to come up here unless you've got um, snow chains or snow socks for your vehicle. Um, it is a single track coming in and out, um, but you can get past people. We manage to get past people quite easily if you've got an Asia. Maybe if you've got the big six berth twin axle vehicles, you might struggle big time getting down here. And you, um, there's no passing spots really. Um, so you've got to go in, almost on the grass and you probably get stuck, um, I would say. But that's down to you if you want to bring it up here or not. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that'll be it for now. We're going to get on and see how the rest of the holiday wink goes. Right, so we've just driven down a little bit further across the road, which is a single track road, to this place, the CB Inn, in, which I'll put in my vlog as well. Um, find out a bit more information, but this is a, a stopover and all. You can stay here for free overnight. It's a lot less windier. It's more in the, the village, or the town, village, really. Um, 
still got lovely spectacular views and great walks from around here and you can see it's got quite a large car park so you could have had a quite a nice stay here as well I'm not sure what facilities they supply but they obviously do food and drink for the evening so it's a nice little free stopover and it is a hotel as well so Right, so we've just driven a little bit further on. A little town called Reef. There's a little bit of a car park here. You can see people parking on the grass as well, which would be okay in the summer months. It's a very popular place, isn't it? I would say, looking around, there's about three, maybe even four pubs and inns here. Little church, a tea room. Shop. So we're going to pop down to get some breakfast. Right, so we just popped into the cat here, a couple of kettle. Um, in little, this little town, lovely uh, bacon and egg sandwich and a cup of coffee and Loretta had a nice freshly made cake and um, we'll have a little walk around this town and then we're going to get on to another pub that we're going to pop into just to see what it's like at the station inn um, but we're not sure where we're going to be staying at yet so we just have a walk around and see where we're going to end up tonight hear me over the massive winds we've got at the moment we're just working our way through Ravensdale which is the famous TV show if anyone's seen it on TV on IT, I think it's ITV Ravensdale Farm right so we just pulled down here in the town called Mucker um, car park over there in the background whereas we've been able to park the van up just having a little walk into this town not sure what's around Definitely put our Asia through some paces going around these country lanes here. It's quite tight, some of it, but we've been able to get through a van. Wouldn't want to do it in the old big six berth we used to have. <laughs> 